Okay, let's dive into this uh, Chinese font tutorial. Right, okay, I'm going to break this up to show you what is inside here. Uh, ungroup it, okay, right click, ungroup, okay, show you all these parts here. So, how I did it. And I use uh, both backgrounds, uh, red background and also the white background interchange. So if you red background, use white lettering and uh, white background use red. Uh, white, letter, uh, white background use red lettering, okay? So play around with that. There are three different fonts and three different styles here. So let me go in and show you. First of all, of course, you have to download all these fonts. Um, I got this off from uh, Google Font and uh, and I changed it. But I, you can also cut and paste and use back the same uh, onto it and still achieve these results. But if you want more fanciful fonts, you can download and then I'll show you where you can actually uh, transfer this. Right? So each of the fonts here, the base, uh, the thing is about animation. So get used to the animations in and out, all right? See here, you can see that, okay. I'll show you where the animations are. Uh, under here, motion, and you have a lot here, in and out, yeah, okay. So you see here, this one, I'm going to expand it a little bit more for you to see. Okay, scale down, all right? So I use scale down here for the in, and then to put it out, I use uh, another one. So what you do is, uh, once you put this in, you go into the setting here. Now by default, the setting here is about 25, and you have got faith, fade, but I don't like to use the fade. Yeah, so I want it to be more striking in, as it comes in. And by default, it's just entire text, but I'm changing it to letters, and make it random or reverse, yeah, and the offset, I also change it. Default is 25. You can do it bigger or smaller. But because this is a storm style thing, so I do it a little bigger. So there's more uh, active animations in this one. Okay? So every time you add these animations in, always click here uh, to see what you can do. There are so many combinations here for you to play around with. This is really all about practice makes perfect. Okay? So that's the first one. Then the second one is this one, Sun Ti Tian Kang. All right. So also I use backslide. And again, you see that I chose a different one. Yeah. Again, you, you do all the different settings that you want. You can change all the settings. So see which one suits you and which one is more dynamic uh, in your liking. The combinations is just numerous. Okay. Now the third one here is Chu Ru Ping An. Uh, this one is uh, also using different ones. Okay, now notice that the second and third one I add the borders. Let's show you how you add the border to the text. Go to advanced here. All right, yeah, this is where the border is. So you have all these options here. Go to border and I add black border to this white text and I put it about five. You can put it even more, you can put it even 10. It's feel stronger. Yeah, if that works for you. And your border can be any color. So, okay. So, blend and play with that. And there you have all these different ones coming in and out. Now, I added the white background here so that I can have a transition to change from the red to the white. And then I change my font. And then, of course, you can uh, change your other colors. All right. So, this is Chinese New Year, obviously. Uh, these are all... Uh, red and red and everything is red. <laughs> yeah. Now, similarly, you can also use the same technique for other languages. So go and try out for other languages. I have not tried them out yet. So uh, you've tried it out. Yeah, post it in the forum and then uh, share it with other people how you do other languages. All right. Now let me show you where you can go in to add your fonts. Yeah. So whenever you're in a font here, you see it here in font here, okay? Uh, click on the font. you notice I use leak Spartan, but I cut and paste the Chinese characters into it. So it's the same. So when you click here, you see upload your custom fonts. Now, 
okay, uh, and say data, yep, exit, that's okay. Yeah, it will bring you to this segment here to upload your custom fonts and make sure whatever you upload, you change it to WOFF2 type. Check the tutorial here. Click it, it will show you everything. And when you upload it, it comes in a zip. So keep it as a zip, select it, and your fonts will appear here. Like see here, I've uploaded Notosense uh, traditional Chinese, and all your uploaded fonts will come here. So that's one way. The second way is when you are back here in the home here, uh, click here in your accounts, fonts. Same thing, it will also bring you up here, okay? Let's go back to my tutorial. There's no back button, sorry. Yeah, so uh, there we go, we have this one. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe and then uh, follow and uh, you will be able to see more, okay? Good luck.